What's up, Nerds Geeks? My name is OMGWTF, LOL, FTWBRB, and welcome to Subprocker Sunday. If you are unfamiliar with what Subprocker Sunday is, well, it is one of the days a week that I choose to play really any game that I want, such as the ongoing series we've been doing for quite a long time now, the arcade playthroughs of Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion XL. This time around, we're going to be doing Scotsman from the Samurai Jack franchise. Scotsman was a... Uh, reoccurring character. He wasn't a main character, but either way, that's, uh, he made his way into this game, and that's who we're going to be playing as. And um, apparently I haven't selected him yet, so that's what we're waiting for. Alright, why did I take this long to select him? Alright, well, whatever. You know... Oh, there we go, finally. So Scotsman has an orange colored shirt, a red color shirt, and a straight up black color shirt as his, uh, Excuse me. The only thing on the Scotsman's heart when he mysteriously appeared in the strange new place was to find his wife. In front of him was a dangerous opponent who the Scotsman would not let getting in the way of his task. Drawing his large sword, the Scotsman charged forward with a battle cry. I do want to apologize for sneezing on camera. I do not uh, actually like doing that, but sometimes they sneak out. Either way, though, as I was saying, um, he... um. He has different, you know, costumes. He had a red one, I believe, an orange one, and he had a black one where he had, like, a white mustache and all that. Either way, though, a basic colors for him, but we always stick with the originals here. Oh, hi, Taylor. And, um, a reoccurring thing I actually do during these arcade playthroughs, whether it, whether it would be, you know, Injustice, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, or Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion XL, is I like to give you information on the character, but real quick... Really lucky here. I also like to show off their uh, synergy partners, and um, I got lucky with the first one ever. Scotsman's synergy is number two from the codename Kids Next Door, and it seems like um, he jumps on his plane and they he just shoots, 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 shoots. I don't know how I really got that lucky, but um, I did. I got really lucky. First synergy I picked up. The first synergy cube I picked up in this playthrough as Scotsman, and I ended up getting my synergies partner. To me, that's luck. But next up, we're going to be taking on Johnny Bravo. Bravo, of course, is one of my uh, more favorite cartoon characters. Anyway, though, I know I mentioned that uh, that information on the character, so why don't we actually give you the information, shall we? Let me just actually scroll up. Oh my god, my cat turned my TV on. Alright, anyway. So, Scotsman's part of the show Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack is an American animated television series created by Genendi Tartagowski. I don't know if I pronounced that name wrong. For Cartoon Network. The series followed the time displaced samurai warrior Jack in his singular quest to find a method of traveling back in time and defeating the tyrannical demonic wizard Aku. Episode plot range from dark and epic to lighthearted and comic, but often containing little dialogue. Stories instead rely on the series of highly detailed outline free marketing based animation, as well as its cinematic style and pacing. Many battle scenes in the series are reminiscent of samurai films, and since Jack's robot enemy enemies bleed out oil or electricity and his monsters and alien foes bleed out slime or goo, the action of these films can be exhibited while avoiding censorship for censorship for blood and violence. Samurai Jack premiered on August tenth, two thousand one on Cartoon Network and has since garnered high critical acclaim. It won form when eh, Wow. It won four Primetime Emmy Awards, six Annie Awards, and OIAF Award, and received eight additional nominations. Cultural influence on the series ranged from the 1970s TV series Kung Fu to the works of the record Akiri Kur Kurosawa. I don't know if I pronounced that right either. The series ran for four seasons, totaling 52 episodes, and the final episode aired on September 25th, 2004. All four seasons have since been released on DVD by Warner Home Video. So anyway, now let me give you information on the character. The Scotsman, who was voiced by Joe DiMaggio, who's uh, you know, more famous for his voices of, Fut um, of Bender from Futurama, General Grievous from Star Wars Clone Wars, Jake the Dog from Adventure Time, Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War, and Wolverine in the upcoming Deadpool video game. Why won't it let me scroll down? There we go. So, Scotsman is the name for the Scottish man who initially shares a rivalry with Jack, 
but later becomes one of the samurai's most trusted allies. He is one of only two characters to appear in four episodes, real quick. This is the Scotsman's finisher. We'll go over a little bit more when we actually get to see it more, uh, again, because I do actually do it again. Anyway, uh, he is one of only two characters to appear in four episodes. Jack and the Scotsman, Jack and the Scotsman 2, and the Scotsman Saves Jack, which consists of two consecutive episodes. And Jack and the Scotsman, he first meets Jack, and then makes fun of Jack by calling him various names and insults, such as a sissy in a nightgown. He even derides Jack's sword, calling it a butter knife, though Jack has impressed him by the end of the episode. And Jack and the Scotsman 2, the Scotsman enlists Jack to help him rescue his dainty, beautiful wife from a demon. The rescue is successful, but only because the Scotsman wife turns out to be larger and more terrifying than the Scotsman himself, and stronger than Jack and the Scotsman combined. By the time of the episode the Scotsman saves Jack, he comes. Ah, he has come to use the name Samurai Jack instead of a friend or stranger. The Scotsman saves Jack when Jack loses his memory to the sirens. As the Scotsman pref prefer uh, preference for the bagpipes makes him the only makes him the only one immune to them. He compares their singing to someone stepping on a lot of cats. The Scotsman's notable features include his include his legs. One of them is normal. If dis what dis dis I can never pronounce this damn move. Anyway, since I can't pronounce that word, uh, here's Scotsman finisher again. He plays his bagpipes, and then his <clears throat> beautiful wife comes down, creates a giant force field basically that sends whoever um, basically falls asleep from the or gets basically uh, stunned I guess by a Scotsman's uh, bagpipe playing they get sent off the field once the wife comes slamming out. Next up we're going to be taking on Aku who is actually from the Samurai Jack series. Interesting enough. So anyway and uh, his other is a his other leg is a fully functional machine gun which he wields in combat along with ex explosive contained in his kilt. He also carries a shield on his back and uses a six foot long 1.8 millimeter Scottish Claymore sword inscribed with Celtic runes making it unbreakable even against Jack's blade. He also has superhuman strength and endurance evidence, evidenced when he could pick up and throw an entire tank with relative ease. Headbutt a, a robot until it exploded and get bitten by a pair of alligators with so much, without so much of flinching. This seems to be a genetic trait as all as the other members of his family are just as powerful, possessed of the same disproportionately, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that word right, small legs, and by admission of the Scotsman himself, are even rowdier than he is. The Scotsman is heavily featured in the two-part episode, The Scotsman Saves Jack. He counters the siren's song with a bagpipe playing, thus giving Jack back his memory and saving the Scotsman from being crushed. The Scotsman serves as a con convenient foil for Jack, as they are nearly perfectly matched in fighting and survival skills, but are very different in personality, manners, and sense of honor. While Jack is humble and polite, the Scotsman tends to be rude and brags about his skills, yet he happily calls Jack the greatest warrior on the planet aside from me. Whereas Jack has mastered martial arts and skills, the Scotsman seems to rely almost entirely on his freakish strength, brawling using his claymore, machine gun leg, and various grenades in his kill. And the Scotsman has appeared in only three games. He was in Samurai Jack, The Shadow of a Coup, Cartoon Network Fusion Fall, and in both those games, Jojo Maggio reprised his role and continued to be the voice, and he also appears in the game we're playing now, Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion XL, in which I actually could not find the character that does the Scotsman's voice. I don't know if it was Joe DiMaggio, I don't know who did it. But, uh, you know, I don't know who did Scotsman voice from um this game because even on the website I use it didn't even list it. Next up though we're gonna be taking on Dexter and Monkey. Now um in the game in the Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion XL bios because they have bios for each character even the synergy well not synergy but the uh, I guess you can call them assist characters in this game. They have bios for all of them. Um, Scotsman apparently is one if not the strongest character in this game and you know it's actually pretty evident as you see I didn't do much there and I actually got a lot of those little cube things to come out of them so it's really crazy and um his side special which is the move I was just about to do before monkey interrupted me um, it's the one where he runs forward and with his sword and slams it down on you 
that actually gets a lot, and I mean a lot, of those little cubes coming out. So you'll see right here. See how many that just come flying out? So he, I don't know if it's well, just because he's really going? strong he does that, or I don't really know how to do it. I know, um, once again, here is his uh, finisher if you didn't see it. He plays his bagpipes, it stuns who's ever in the range of the notes, and then his beautiful wife comes down and slams her buttocks to the ground, which sends her opponents flying away. Pretty simple, right? But yeah, Scotsman's very strong in here. He's a bit slow, and I, I find myself uh, missing a lot of my attacks because it takes a while to hit people with him, and they usually interrupt me. But uh, he actually, he's damn strong in this game. And, um... One. He's fun to play as. Right. I don't really have an opinion on the Scotsman though, because um, I don't. I've said this many a times before, but uh, I never actually watched the Samurai Jack series. Unfortunately, um, I always thought it was a cool looking show and all that growing up as a kid, but uh, I don't know what it was. I think I watched like maybe the first episode and then I never watched it really again. And it wasn't like I didn't like it. It was just more as like. I never knew when it was on. By the by the way, I didn't know I was stuck. That's why I was standing in place. I was actually really happy with this fight specifically because I don't like getting into the boat because I hate fighting on the boat for some reason because of the cannonballs firing back. So I was happy I actually got Knuckles eliminated before we got to the boat. Either way, though, yeah, I don't really have an opinion on the Scotsman, but from what I just read there, he sounds like a pretty cool character. He's exact opposite of Samurai Jack, honestly, with uh, Samurai Jack, as I said, being humble and all that, and he's just like, he's a, he's a Scottish person, you know? Scottish people are like that. So, so are the, um, I, I don't mean to disrespect anyone who's Scottish or Irish, because I know some people who don't like being like, uh, Chinese people don't like to be called uh, Japanese, and uh, Puerto Ricans don't like to be called Mexicans, so I don't know if I'm disrespecting any, uh, Scottish people by saying this or Irish people but Scottish people and Irish people remind me a lot of each other and um I got really unlucky in this fight because uh Billy and Mandy got their synergy cube which is a uh, cheese from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends and as you see it's it's actually pretty good assist honestly and uh I ended up getting eliminated from it because of that for a hostile gato. Yeah, Billy and Mandy ended up eliminating me. Embarrassing because I was like, I'm actually not going to lose once. And then they got their synergy. It's like, because honestly, if I don't, if you honest, I'm going to be honest with you, Nerds and Geeks. If you lose to him in this game, which is the main boss, I don't know what's wrong. Because in my opinion, him is one of the weakest characters in this game. Like, he is not that good. At least the computer. But, uh, I was all excited because I wasn't going to lose, and I ended up losing. So I decided to do a different uh, thing, and they all just stood there and took it. I kept doing my down special, which is kind of like a uh, belly flop on top of everybody. And it worked. Look at that. And I got tons of uh, cubes for my, my finisher, too. See? Told you. Scotsman gets a lot, and I mean a lot. But, um... Yeah, I don't really have much of an opinion, but he seems like a pretty cool character, honestly. Like, I'm not just saying it because, you know, I don't really have an opinion. He's definitely not my favorite. Like, if I had to choose a favorite in that whole series, it would probably be Samurai Jack. But, um... Say hello to my beautiful wife. Damn, Grim got the worst of that one. Yeah. I'm sorry if you guys expected like, a full breakdown of Scotsman on this one, because, like I said, I don't know much about him. He's uh, he's Scottish, but I honestly thought he was Irish, I'm not going to lie. Because uh, I never knew Scottish people really had... I always, whenever I see pale skin and red hair, I think of, you know, Irish people. So, I thought he was Irish, except for, you know, the fact that his name is Three, Scotsman. Two, one, but, uh, you know... He seems like a cool character. I don't really have an opinion on him because of the fact that uh, I never um, watched the the cartoon Samurai Jack that much. I re I regret it, and if I ever do find the the full season, 
you better damn be sure I'm gonna buy that. But um, well, let's see. What else can I talk about here? I was gonna say something until I completely forgot. So yeah. So that's him, and this is why him's not really that hard to fight because. I think it might be the stage, honestly, but he actually didn't do bad against me on this one. Like, we were going back and forth. Like, this is what I'm talking about with the Scotsman. Like, he's not weak by far, but it's definitely like he's very slow with his moves, and I feel like people can recover from him easily. Oh, I remember what I was going to say now, too. That was him's demise right there. Oh, no, it wasn't. Um, so. Upon looking at the games he's been in, his uh, Fusion Fall, if you never played it, was a... Uh, oh, shit, I almost fell there. Is, uh, it's a game basically based off the future of Cartoon Network. Like, um... Oh, hold on. As he had wished, the Scotsman spotted his wife soon after defeating his final opponent. Excited, he set down his satchel of food, pulled out his bagpipes, and began to play a victorious tune while marching towards his wife. Managed to calm her down with the promise of a delicious surprise only a few steps away. Together, the Scotsman and his wife approached the satchel of food only to find it was emptied of its contents. The eruption of fury from his wife was deafening as the Scotsman watched a chimp in a superhero suit run off with his food. You Isn't she beautiful? Me in well, you see, uh, our wife's pretty mad, so um, we have to go find a chimp and a superhero suit, so, uh, I think we found him, nerds and geeks. This is Scotsman's alternate costume. It's kind of a, uh, I guess a homage to, um, what's that? Beowulf, I think? I don't know. But, uh, he's got the blue down his face and all that. This is his just regular special just standing there. It's his machine gun leg. His side special is the charging move where he slams his sword down with the powerful move. Uh, his down special is a straight up belly flop on top of his opponent. And his up special is three front flips with his sword. But uh, this is for taking the food, monkey. As always, though, Nerds and Geeks, I hope you have enjoyed this. And if you have, please leave, do me a favor. Leave me a like, a comment, and please subscribe if you have not already. As always, I have been OMG, WTF, LOL, FT, WBRB. And I will see you next time when we continue with our arcade playthroughs of Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion. So until then, Nerds and Geeks, you guys have yourselves a great day. Yeah, you take that, monkey.